like unrequited love, you know? You can look at a bird and, and just be captivated by it, and the bird is looking at you like, yeah, what do you want? Deborah Allen loves birds. She devotes every weekend to looking for them. When Allen sees an unusual bird, she quickly scribbles its name onto her list. A list. You keep track of all the birds you've seen in your entire lifetime. Upper West Sider Robert Paxton has been bird watching since he was nine years old. Seventy years later, his list boasts one-third of the 9,300 different species in the world. Within the bird watching community, you, 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 you get uh, prestige if you're really good at this. Uh, you know, just hear one peep or see, it, see just a glimpse and you know what it is. Bird watching is about patience, waiting for an event that brings a rare bird sighting. Hurricane Irene is moving in and people along the East Coast are moving out. Hurricane Sandy threatening a massive stretch of the U.S. from Virginia to New England. When a hurricane spirals up the Atlantic coastline, it moves tropical birds from their homes and drops them wherever the storm dissipates. The recent hurricanes caused a bird watching frenzy for these birders along the Hudson River. We're looking for rare birds that have been blown off course. There's a limited window after a big storm has passed where uh, birds who are where they sh wouldn't ordinarily be can be found. Some of my friends have hidden out near the beach and so forth and found all sorts of devious ways to be on the beach. When tropical birds are swept inland, the lucky ones recoup in the city for a few days before returning south. But a few unlucky birds wind up here, in the Natural History Museum's bird archive, the largest collection in the world. Paul Sweet is the man who collects and preserves them. These are some tropic birds that came in after Irene. These birds are birds that probably bred in Bermuda. But it's difficult to tell how many birds are blown inland. During Hurricane Sandy, we did experience some seabirds uh, in unusual places, but not to the same extent that we did with Irene. More frequent and severe storms promise rare bird sightings, but not without a cost. Major movements of birds could get caught up in these storms and not make it back to shore and get forced into the oceans. Andrew Farnsworth studies migrating birds. He's unsure what the increase in hurricanes will mean for birds in the future. The question is, you know, exactly what's going to happen? It's hard to say. I think, uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to find out. For now, bird watchers simply enjoy the beauty of the storm, and they'll continue to brave the downpour, come heaven, or high water. From Columbia University, I'm Salima Karoma for Metro Focus.